You probably have used ChatGPT for text, Midjourney for images, or Eleven Labs for voices. And of course, how could you not, since they're all over the news? But it's not just about using them. It's also helpful if you have a basic understanding of how these real-world applications work. So, welcome and have a seat, because we are about to introduce you to five fundamentals of artificial intelligence. The journey begins with machine learning, as this is one of the fundamental pillars of today's artificial intelligence, driving innovation and transformation across a wide range of fields. This allows machines to learn and improve from experiences and make decisions without being explicitly programmed for every single task, just like humans do. Here's a simple breakdown of the process. Data collection. First, we collect a bunch of data relevant to the problem we want the computer to solve. This could be anything from images to sensor readings. Data pre-processing. Next, we clean up and prepare the data for the computer to use and understand. Feature engineering. We identify the important aspects of the data, called features, that will help the computer make predictions or decisions. Model selection. We choose a machine learning algorithm or model that we think will be best suited to the problem at hand. Training the model. We feed our prepared data into the chosen model and let it learn from the examples. During training, the model adjusts its internal parameters to minimize errors and make accurate predictions. Evaluation. Once the model is trained, we test it on new data to see how well it performs. This helps us understand if the model has learned to generalize from the training data to make accurate predictions on new data. Fine tuning. If the model doesn't perform well, we might go back and adjust its parameters or try a different model altogether. Deployment. Finally, once we're happy with the model's performance, we deploy it into real-world applications where it can make predictions or decisions autonomously. Supervised and unsupervised learning are the two main categories of machine learning. In supervised learning, algorithms are trained on labeled data, while in unsupervised learning, algorithms search for patterns in unlabeled data on their own. This is where neural networks come in, mimicking the way the human brain works with layers of interconnected nodes. As the algorithm is fed data and performs calculations, the connections between the nodes are adjusted, allowing the network to learn and improve at its task. Imagine you're trying to teach a computer to recognize pictures of cats. You show it a bunch of cat pictures and tell it, these are cats. Then, you show it pictures of other things, like dogs or cars, and say, these are not cats. A neural network works kind of like a simplified model of the human brain. It's made up of layers of artificial neurons, each of which is like a tiny decision maker. When you show the network a picture, each neuron looks at a different part of the image and decides whether it looks like a cat or not. The first layer of neurons might look at basic features like lines and shapes. Then, as you move deeper into the network, the neurons combine these features to recognize more complex patterns, like fur and whiskers. During training, the network adjusts the connections between neurons to get better at recognizing cats. It learns from its mistakes, gradually improving its ability to distinguish between cat and non-cat images. Once the network is trained, you can show it new pictures, and it will tell you whether it thinks they contain a cat or not, based on what it learned during training. So, in simple terms, a neural network is like a virtual brain that can learn to recognize patterns and make decisions, just like we do. It's a powerful tool used in many AI applications, from image and speech recognition to self-driving cars and medical diagnosis. Beyond machine learning and neural networks, one of the most fascinating and promising areas of artificial intelligence is natural language processing. This discipline focuses on helping computers understand and interpret human language. Here's a simplified explanation. Think about how you understand language. When you read a sentence or hear someone speak, you can quickly grasp the meaning, even if it's complex or ambiguous. 
NLP aims to teach computers to do the same thing. At its core, NLP involves teaching computers to understand the structure, meaning, and context of human language. Here's how it works. Tokenization. The first step is breaking down text into smaller pieces, like words or phrases. This process is called tokenization. Parsing. Next, the computer analyzes the grammatical structure of the text to understand how the words relate to each other. This step helps the computer identify things like subject, verb, and object in a sentence. Semantic analysis. Once the structure is understood, the computer tries to grasp the meaning of the text. This involves identifying synonyms, understanding idioms, and interpreting the overall context. Named Entity Recognition In some cases, the computer needs to identify specific entities mentioned in the text, such as names of people, organizations, or locations. Sentiment Analysis Another important aspect of NLP is determining the sentiment or emotional tone of the text. This can help the computer understand whether the text is positive, negative, or neutral. Machine Learning Much like in other areas of AI, machine learning techniques are often used in NLP to improve accuracy and performance. Computers can be trained on large datasets of text to learn patterns and relationships in language. NLP is used in many applications we encounter every day, from virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa, to language translation tools, chatbots, and spam filters. It's a crucial technology that enables computers to communicate with us in a way that feels natural and intuitive. While NLP promises to open new frontiers in human-machine interaction, Computer vision is another fascinating field of artificial intelligence that focuses on teaching computers to interpret and understand visual information, much like humans do with their eyes. Here's a simplified explanation. Image acquisition. The process starts with obtaining images or videos from cameras or other visual sensors. These could be photographs, videos, or live feeds. Pre-processing. Once the images are acquired, they may undergo pre-processing steps to enhance quality, remove noise, or standardize the format. This helps ensure that the computer can work with clean and consistent data. Feature Extraction In this step, the computer identifies key features or patterns in the visual data. These could be edges, shapes, textures, colors, or even more complex objects like faces or vehicles. Feature extraction algorithms analyze the pixels in the image to identify these patterns. Object recognition and detection. With the extracted features, the computer can then recognize or detect specific objects or classes within the images. This might involve matching the extracted features with patterns stored in a database or using machine learning algorithms to classify objects based on their visual characteristics. Scene understanding. Beyond recognizing individual objects, computer vision also aims to understand the overall context or scene depicted in the images. This could involve identifying relationships between objects, estimating depth and spatial layout, or recognizing activities and events. Machine learning and deep learning. Like in natural language processing, machine learning and deep learning techniques play a crucial role in computer vision. Neural networks, especially convolutional neural networks CNNs, are commonly used to analyze visual data and make sense of complex patterns. Applications Computer vision has countless applications across various industries and domains. It's used in autonomous vehicles for navigation and object detection, in medical imaging for diagnosis and analysis, in surveillance systems for security and monitoring, in augmented reality for enhancing user experiences, and much more. Overall, computer vision enables computers to see and understand the visual world around us, opening up a wide range of possibilities for automation, analysis, and interaction. As artificial intelligence advances rapidly, ethics and bias are emerging as critical issues that require constant attention. As machines become smarter and more present in our lives, 
It's very important to consider how these technologies may impact our society and our own humanity. Ethics in artificial intelligence refers to the morality and responsibility associated with the development, implementation, and use of AI systems. Fundamental questions arise about privacy, transparency, fairness, and the social impact of these technologies. For example, how do we ensure that AI systems respect the privacy and rights of individuals? How do we prevent algorithms from perpetuating prejudice and discrimination? Who is responsible when AI systems make mistakes or bad decisions? Bias, on the other hand, refers to the inherent tendency of AI algorithms to reflect and amplify biases present in the data on which they are trained. This can lead to discriminatory or unfair decisions, especially if the training data is biased or incomplete. For example, AI systems used for hiring or loan approval may discriminate against certain demographic groups if the training data reflects existing biases in society. Addressing these ethical and bias challenges requires a multidisciplinary approach involving experts in ethics, human rights, social justice, public policy, and, of course, technology. Robust regulatory frameworks must be developed to guide the responsible development and deployment of AI and to promote transparency and accountability at all stages of the AI lifecycle. Furthermore, it is essential to foster a culture of ethical and critical awareness in the AI community that encourages reflection on the ethical implications of our actions and decisions. In the end, Ethics and bias are critical considerations that must be integrated into the design and implementation of artificial intelligence. Only through a continued commitment to these principles can we ensure that AI benefits society as a whole and promotes a more just, fair, and ethical future for all. If you found this video interesting, you might also like to see this video about the early history of artificial intelligence.